Welcome to Wild Breakaway with Mike Greenlee and Amadra Martin. Tonight was not how the Minnesota Wild wanted to start this five-game home standoff. They've been so dominant here at the XL Energy Center. Unfortunately, tonight they see a 3 nothing lead slip away. They have to settle for one point against the last place Arizona Coyotes. We're getting into that time of the season where you can't afford to turn these type of points away. And you're, you're one of the best teams in the league at home. That's when you got to really make hay. As Bruce Boudreaux said this morning, you got to make hay when the sun's shining. Well, this is when you do it right now against a team that's 31st in the National Hockey League. Granted, they played well, they played hard, but that's no excuse. The Wild need to find ways to keep these points in their column. Uh, they gave one up. Granted, they got one, so that's great. But this is where you really have to push. And so the Minnesota Wild uh, facing this uh, homestand here, this is a good long homestand where they could make hay if they continue to play hard. They played hard in a lot of portions of that game, but they need to find a way to play from puck drop to the final buzzer. Well, the one point they picked up tonight against Arizona now makes it a franchise best 11 straight games with points here in front of the home crowd. But again, it's a tough loss. Arizona out shooting the Wild 40 to 28 in the second and third period and then overtime it was 29 to 16 in favor of Arizona who really just flipped the script and took advantage of the situation. Both teams go over one on the power play. The Minnesota Wild not the way they wanted to start this home standoff and the head coach is not happy about it. Oh, that's not good enough. <laughs> it's pretty simple. It was the message after the game, and it's the, it's the message from here on in. I mean, you're fighting for your playoff lives, and you come up and you blow a three nothing lead to a team that's that doesn't isn't going to be in the playoffs. So now the homestand continues Saturday as they welcome the Chicago Blackhawks to town. Not the same Chicago Blackhawks we're really used to seeing over the last couple of years. Their last place in the Central Division. But as we saw tonight, any team on any given night can beat any other team. And if the Minnesota Wild don't come out with a strong effort from start to finish, they could be leaving more points out on the table. Yeah, you can't, uh, you can't face teams that are not in the playoff picture or that uh, look like they won't be in the playoff picture and lose to them. And uh, Chicago Blackhawks are a nemesis team. We know that. Uh, the Wild have had plenty of history with them. They've played the Hawks well this season, so they need to draw upon that because the Hawks lost again tonight to Dallas. Uh, you know, a lot of Central Division games, and, you know, as you go down the stretch here, more and more games are against your own division. That's where you have to make, uh, make the difference because, you know, time and time again, we see the Wild win hockey games but not really go anywhere in the standings. Well, when you're facing your division, those are the games that you have to win, and that's when you start to climb. This is a crucial home stand for the Wild. They need to uh, get it headed back in the right direction Saturday night against the Chicago Blackhawks. We'll see if they can get it done. We look forward to seeing you then. In the meantime, for Mike Greenlay and Madra Martin, thanks for joining us on Wild Breakaway.